For the 10th time in the last 11 meetings, Ohio paints it green and white over Miami. Welcome to our broadcast booth at Jaeger Stadium in Oxford. Final score, Ohio 17, Miami 7. He's Ryan Boyd. He's Rob Cornelius. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Our postgame recaps are supported by the Athens County Convention and Visitors Bureau. This was a throwback, guys. Ohio won this game without having over 200 yards of total offense. Yeah, defense was the rule of the day. Pace of play was quick. Not a lot of plays in this game. Not a lot of completed passes and no big plays. It was a grinder defensively and, frankly, on both sides. Yeah, it absolutely was, and at the end of the day, Ohio gets the victory on that big defensive touchdown uh, when they had to. Miami had an opportunity to win the game, and sometimes these Mac games go that way. You never really know, regardless of record, who's going to come out and perform well, especially when you're the road team like Ohio was. They made plays on the defensive end when it mattered most. And special teams let you essentially spike the ball for the win, put the stake in the ground here for another victory for Ohio and Oxford. Yeah, it was a grinder, and it was a Blair Brown quarterback sack and strip at the goal line. Kevin Robbins was there to be able to pick the ball up and score in a wild play and you visited with coach Solich in post game and it was fitting that a, a wild play a not offensive play was the reason why Ohio won this ball game by 10. Yeah the defense earned some turnovers and this one played well got sacks early on Billy Ball Miami's quarterback knocked him out probably for the next four to six weeks and played a solid solid game but Ohio just couldn't convert some possessions middle of this one and create a bunch of separation. Uh, to repeat just to get this right Ohio had 197 yards of total offense Miami had 238, and Ohio still won 17-7. Yow. Here's how it looked and sounded. Holder will be Michael Farkas for the right-footed kicker. Snap back, placement down, kick away. It's twisting towards that left upright, and he snuck it in there. Got it? They're bigger. Finally, a little bit of chemistry, though. Ball along the left hash, second and 11. Back to ball, steps up in the pocket, throws over the middle. It's a high grab. It's reeled in and across the red M at the midfield stripe down to the 49-yard line inside Ohio territory and a first down. First and 10 for the Red Hawks. Ball at the Ohio 49-yard line. Ball crouches, takes an errant snap, but picks it up. Now he'll throw high to the right side. It's reeled in on a dive inside the 30-yard line between the right hash and numbers. Back at the 18. Back to pass ball. Backside pressure. Throws it left corner of the end zone, and it's intercepted. Ohio picks it off coming near sideline on the run it's Javon Hagen to the 35 40 45 with blockers around him right sideline and bumped out of bounds Wyndham takes a high snap now he'll run left has blockers in front got a first down ducks it inside tacklers along the left number spun around inside the 10 and down at the eight yard line two wide to the right two wide receivers left along the right hash third and nine at the 31 back to pass ball looks right the whole way fires over the middle it's high it's intercepted on a dive at the 46 Miami might blitz here. Back to passes Wyndham. Looks over the middle. Pocket breaks. Going down. Pushed back to the 49. Second down and 10 of the Miami 40 along the left hash. Low snap. Reeled in. He'll hand it off to Kenny Young. Running left side. Ohio's there. First man on him was Trent Smart, the junior from Wilmington, Ohio. Here first and 10 to the Bobcat 27 yard line. Wyndham feathers it out left side. It is caught in space to the left sideline and bumped out of bounds as Jordan Reed. 70, now done. First, uh, second down and 10 at the Miami 37. A back to pass, it's Wyndham. Pocket breaks, gonna run. 35 along the right side, down inside the 30 and down at the 26 yard line. Hardy on the left tip of Wyndham. Option to and Greg will keep. Ducks it back inside of the five. The end zone, six for the Cats. Touchdown, Ohio along the right, sorry, left hash. And Ohio finally gets into the house. Nine nothing Cats, 8.14 to go, quarter two. At the Ohio 33, Wyndham's out of the shotgun, retreats, rocks, dances, throws over the middle. It is caught. It's a first down on a crossing route to Jordan Reed. Just at the top of the red and white M at the midfield stripe and a first down for the Bobcats. <laughs> Fourth down and one at the Miami 41. Option to the right. Wyndham will keep along the outside. Dives forward and he got a first down barely. Third down and 18 of the Miami 47. Back to pass Wyndham. Pump fake in trouble. Lost the ball. Popped in the air but it's picked up by Ohio on a dive by Jake Preeze. Forecast changed in the last, really, day. Second down and 10, the Miami 12. Again, a low snap. Back to pass Wazinski. Lobs it to the near side. It is caught on a leap near the near boundary and out of bounds. Just about at the 30-yard line. First and 10 for the Red Hawks. Ball at their own 47. Still hanging around. Play fake Wazinski. Fires over the middle. It's caught. It's a first down inside the 40 between the hashes to their tight end, Ryan Smith. The left side, it's Alonzo Smith. Wazinski takes a snap. Now a fire left. It's caught at the one, leaning forward. 
He's already converted once today. Ohio's first score, 33-yard attempt. Minimal win, snap back, and it's blocked. Line drive kick, it's blocked. Third and 17 to the Miami 28. Back to pass Wazinski. Pocket breaks, going down. Quarterback sack. Terrell Basham got him. Flag flies after the play. Claps his hands, takes a snap. Malik runs right, and he steps through a tackle, and he's pushed forward by a tackle inside the 40, down to the Miami 39, first down Ohio. Snap back. Here comes the rush. Got it away. High end over end kick. And it will be knocked down inside the two, inside the one, and is it downed? Yes, it is. Inside the one. Four wide in the pattern, first and 10 Miami at their own 13. Big rush on, Wazinski back at the goal line, spun around, lost the ball, booped up by Ohio, it's a touchdown. Touchdown, Cats. Four wide in the pattern, Wazinski takes a snap, steps back, backside rush coming, Evan Crouch is on his case, the ball is thrown low, it is reeled in on a dive by Kyle Rowe at the 33. Clock continues to roll, it is fourth down. 30 seconds left, and the Red Hawks are gonna try a very long field goal. This is from 49 yards away. The snap is muffed, bobbled, and then tackled back of the 46, and that's gonna do it. The holder had to pick up the ball, Justin Martin, and that was a crazy way to end this one. Ohio will then be afforded to go into victory formation. So the Bobcats in Frank Solich-led Mid-American Conference openers are 9-3. and three. Solid tone setter up next, Bowling Green at Peden Stadium, and they are not the same flying Falcons that we saw the last couple of years. No, and as we cut this one, they trail at home to Eastern Michigan. Someone has sent me an internet down four points under 10 minutes to go in that game. But BG, you're right. They've given up 600-plus yards every game in the pre-conference and 77 points twice. This is a different Bowling Green team. And that was against Ohio State and then Memphis, where they only scored three points against the Tigers. Bottom line, Ohio won a game without playing its best or anywhere close to it on the road against a rival, start off Mid-American Conference play. Yeah, and sometimes on your way to a MAC championship, you have to win games in this type of fashion, and you hope that next week playing against that Bowling Green team that is a little bit down, you're going to have a bounce-back effort from Greg Wyndham. You may have yeah. Dorian Brown back. You may be a stronger football team overall because of the effort you had today. And luckily, you look back and you don't say, well, we're better from a loss. You can be better from a win. I enjoyed calling this with you, gentlemen. Yeah, survived, advanced. We always enjoy the trip to Oxford, win or lose, but it's been a lot of wins in the last decade. Making broadcasting great again <laughs> in the visiting radio booth at Jaeger Stadium. Perfect. Put that on a hat. All right. Frank Solo shows on Monday from Bronies in Athens on the Ohio IMG Sports Network. Then homecoming. Got to find a date. Uh, <laughs> one. Get a corsage. <laughs> kick at two. We're on the air at one for a kick at two as Ohio takes on Bowling Green in Athens. Thanks to Jason Chapino for dealing with us. Now for Rob Cornelius and Ryan Boyd, I'm Russ Eisenstein. Ohio paints it green and white with the 17-7 win over Miami. Our post-game report is supported by the Athens County Convention and Visitors Bureau. Plan your next trip to Athens at AthensOhio.com. Good night from Oxford. This is Bobcat TV.